Hi, I'm Massachusetts Attorney General Martha Coakley. Let me tell you a little bit about the interesting and exciting work that attorneys in our office do on behalf of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Because of our broad role in protecting and advocating for the people of Massachusetts, assistant attorneys general have the opportunity to be involved in many different kinds and types of legal work. Our office works to combat consumer fraud, to protect the environment, to ensure access to civil rights, to make sure that we protect the rights of employees and patients when their rights have also been violated. Our criminal bureau attorneys investigate and prosecute cyber crimes, environmental crimes, and all kinds of fraud, including employment and insurance fraud. Our government bureau attorneys both defend agencies and the Commonwealth when lawsuits are brought. Those who serve as assistant attorneys general will tell you it's a great job. We get to develop and use legal skills in the courtroom, in negotiating settlements, in crafting legislation that will improve and impact people's lives. And as we get to serve the public every day, we also have challenging and fulfilling careers, whether you're here for a short period of time or you're here for a long legal career. I hope you will consider exploring employment as an assistant attorney general on behalf of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and the people of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. My name is Darceline White. I've worked here for a little over 10 years and I'm with the Trial Division in the Government Bureau. My name is Chris Barry Smith. I'm Chief of the Public Protection and Advocacy Bureau. I've been with the office for 11 years as Assistant Attorney General and then Division Chief as well as Public Protection Chief. I'm Wendelie Ortiz Langlois. I'm an Assistant Attorney General in the Criminal Bureau with the Environmental Crime Strike Force. I've been with the office for about four and a half years. I'm uh, Patrick Tarmy. I work in the uh, Office of Ratepayer Advocacy, which is formerly known as the Energy and Telecommunications Division. My name is April English. I am an Assistant Attorney General in the Consumer Protection Division and I've been in the office for seven years. After law school, I spent a year clerking for a federal judge and then two and a half years at a medium-sized law firm in Boston, Hanafi and King. And after that, uh, about three and a half years out of law school, I came to the Consumer Protection Division in the Attorney General's office where I began doing uh, a variety of consumer protection work, especially alternative home financing cases. As a trial lawyer, I defend um, the state and st public employees in civil uh, actions. Um, we handle cases ranging from torts and employment discrimination to civil rights, eminent domain, uh, as well as contracts. I prosecute environmental crimes and that will entail taking a case from its inception when we begin investigating the case um, and taking it all the way through um, all the way out, you know, until uh, until trial and everything that happens in between. The division I'm in now, um, in a nutshell, protects the interests of ratepayers in Massachusetts um, with respect to price and delivery of natural gas and electricity. In the Consumer Protection Division, we advocate on behalf of consumers and litigate cases in violation of the Consumer Protection Act for unfair and deceptive acts and practices by a business or a, corp a corporation. The Bureau handles most of the Attorney General's affirmative litigation in a variety of fields. Uh, antitrust, environmental protection, civil rights, consumer protection, insurance and financial services. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, different uh, substantive areas, but in all those areas, we bring cases uh, seeking remedies, usually injunctive relief, civil penalties and restitution to uh, consumers or Massachusetts citizens uh, in all of those fields. First of all, I am not a criminal attorney. I am a civil defense uh, attorney. And what that means is that I am in the business of uh, defending the state and its employees when sued by citizens of the Commonwealth. I enjoy figuring things out and I find that with environmental law that it, it tends to be just a very complex area and that you need to actually kind of figure out what has happened. 
Is there a crime? Where is the crime? What are the statutes that we can actually, you know, ensure, you know, th that exists, you know, that, that we can enforce under to make sure that this type of, you know, activity doesn't happen again? Some of the cases I enjoy the most are the negligence cases. When someone has been injured, someone is claiming they've been injured by the state or a state employee, and I get to defend those cases. I enjoy working on a case, litigating a case from the beginning to the end, from, from getting the complaint, uh, strategizing discovery all the way through uh, deposing witnesses and the actual uh, end result of the trial. Consumer protection, it covers an array of cases, an array of issues. So you're dealing with telecommunications, telemarketing, debt relief, debt collection, mortgage fraud, um, foreclosure rescue scams. It runs the gamut, false advertising. It's a variety of issues, and that's what makes Consumer Protection Division such an exciting division to work in because all the cases are different and they're very interesting. I have a problem with what I see as frivolous lawsuits brought against the state. In my role as an assistant attorney general in the trial division, I see my position as really not only representing the public entity and the public employee, but representing the public. It's in the public's best interest that money from the Commonwealth's coffers not be used to pay out on uh, frivolous nonsense suits. And that's my role. That's what I see. That's what I enjoy about this job. When you are presenting an environmental crime to a grand jury, it's not the typical type of case that they see on Law & Order. It's not the typical case that they may see, you know, in, in a big blockbuster movie. It's, it's not homicide. It's not you know, um, OUIs, it's not drug, you know, cartels and chase them and, and things such as that. The type of work you do in many ways is similar to private practice. You work hard, you uh, write and file briefs, you have court appearances and, and you conduct trials, but at the end of those cases, instead of it just being about money, which in my experience private litigation often was, there is a real goal that's going to help somebody, whether that means you know shutting down an environmental fa a facility that's in violating environmental law or getting millions of dollars back to consumers. That's what should be at the end of our cases, and I think that's what drives people to be here is to have a hand in that type of work. I find that when I actually go into a grand jury, even though it's not the type of typical case that they normally get, they actually realize, you know, that something wrong has happened here. And if anything, a lot of times it hits closer to home because if it's midnight dumping, if it's someone, you know, dumping hazardous waste, you know, in an empty lot, they realize my kid could have been playing in that lot. You know, if it's going, you know, if it's being dumped into a stream that is, you know, close to, you know, a wellhead, they realize, oh my God, you know, I'm part of this community. I drink from that water. What had, you know, if the wellhead had been contaminated? And the same thing for, I mean, like, like even like the Wetlands Protections Act cases, um, you know, people People realize that it's their environment that's being harmed and we you know present it to them and they realize that something significant has happened. As well as working in the office you have the opportunity to join the diversity committee. There is a diversity committee in the Attorney General's office and we work with the community so we do community outreach, community service work where we go to the food bank, we feed the homeless and we mentor the youth.